Hey everybody, welcome back to Stack Snacks. I'm John Swicky, and today we're gonna talk a little ChatGPT 4.0. O O stands for um, Omni. Let's say Omni. Yeah, Omni. Um, so always super exciting when we get a little update. Um, so brand new ChatGPT model. It should start to roll out to pretty much everybody um, by the time anybody watches this. So everybody should have access to it, including free users. And that's the big announcement is all free ChatGPT users are going to get access to a four a four level model, which is a really big deal because we have not had this yet. And the name, which I wish it was called something other or just ChatGPTO, um, the 4.0 is throwing me off. Um, but the so the Omni model is that it could respond to any combination of text audio image and video and it could um respond to audio inputs in a little as little as 232 milliseconds with an average of 320 milliseconds which is similar to the response time in a human conversation so let's take a look at some stuff Oop. And that's not the button we want in the stream here there we go let's get on to the blog okay so let's look at their blog post um and let's take a look at some videos do i have audio set up for this let's see today we're going to try something new i'm going to let you if anybody's listening i'll try to describe another this ai bit. this ai is going to be able to see the world it's going to have a camera i'll be to you I'm going th this ai is not going to be able to see anything uh so basically Adding a touch of green to the space. Anything specific you'd like to know or explore? We got somebody holding up their camera. A video feed's like going to chat to the team. They're describing kind of by the modern what's going on around them. And I think that's kind of, well, that's kind of one of the few big announcements of, right, the voice mode, being able to kind of have that low latency. And if everyone's used the ChatGPT mobile app, recently and you tried to use voice mode it uh it's a little slow right it's a little slow and i think this is going to be the model that tries to solve that problem right um but also i think to um you know let's get into some benchmarks the 4.0 does have some improvement right um we are seeing, let's see, 4L being pink. Looks like it does beat, you know, it does beat the turbo model slightly in some cases. And still Claude 3 in a couple of these benchmarks is, is pretty strong too. In the MGSM. I don't know if I know what that is, but I always like to, to, to look at these. Um, and let's see. So it's noticed, I mean, it, it is in, in a couple of the benchmarks notice, noticeably better. Um, there are some improvements with how they tokenize different languages, which I think is going to be great. Um, and I mean, I would say from my, my early testing, um, I think, uh, I think for the most part, it's been, you know, pretty strong on, um, pretty strong in, in, in the coding department and also, um, I think one of the, one of the things too, is just the. The real the speed of everything I think is um, what really you didn't I, I didn't notice Ford being that slow but I think um, I think the speed of 4.0 though definitely kind of sets it apart. So then a couple days after chat the the GPT 4.0 announcement they also published this little blog post which I actually thought was um 
pretty awesome. <laughs> and um, as a as a person who does do a lot of, um, I do I do use the data analyst stuff a lot. Um, so first off, you're going to be able to just import your OneDrive and Google Drive files, which is great because sometimes you got to you know. If you're working with an online file, you got to download, you got to import it, you know, and then so having that functionality, I think is great. Um, but let me see if we can expand this one here, this little chart here. This is this is one I'm pretty pumped for. But basically, it'll allow you to kind of get this like view of your data inside of GPT. So like, because sometimes too, you'll you'll ask it to do some some manipulation, some some different types of stuff, but being able to kind of, I guess, see everything kind of happening, it looks like. So basically, there's on the left hand side, I don't think I can expand this at all. Let's see. But um, you know, being able to see your stuff on the left hand side and having your chat thing on the on the right hand side and being able to kind of interact with your stuff, ask questions see the changes. Um, I think that's going to be super, 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 super helpful for some workflows. Um, I don't have access to this yet. It's going to be kind of roll, a slow rollout. Otherwise, we would spin up some demos. Um, and uh, yep, there's a little demo of it being able to connect to OneDrive and Google Drive. The real time working on kind of your data sets, which is going to be great. And then some, some charts we, we should have access to. Um, so yeah, I think, I mean, this is definitely not something for everybody, but I think really streamlining that workflow I think is gonna like see just really quickly you just, if you just saw that sprite being able to pop open that chart it looks like you, there's an expand it looks like you got like a download button right there maybe there's like a fine-tune button right there as well it's hard to see but um I can't wait to play with this I think this is gonna be really really cool um so big updates coming from them um voice mode I don't think is out to anybody yet this is gonna start rolling out a lot of people should have access to 4, 4.0. I definitely recommend playing with it, especially if you're on a free account and you're getting access to it. Um, there are some rate limits. Let's see. I think I got that somewhere. So looks like for free users, you get 16 messages per hour. Plus users, you get 80. And then on if you're on a team account, you get 160. So really cool stuff. I'm super excited about all this stuff. We'll probably spin up some demos once we get access to everything and show you guys uh, how this all works. But uh, that's the big news this week from OpenAI and ChatGPT. Thanks everybody for stopping by and we'll, we'll, we'll see everybody next time. Bye.